Good morning, everyone. I am coming to you from the Late Bloomer Homestead in Tennessee. It's about 30 degrees this morning, very, very nippy, and I've got a lot going on. The house is finally getting connected to the Wi-Fi. I've got another load of firewood coming just to be prepared. I've got Tommy coming to work on the fireplace and so much more, so stay with me. Well, here he comes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, I don't think what should you do? Yeah, because that's kind of the wetter side if it's you know until Is this what you're wanting to haul off? Yeah. Okay, the temperature is actually dropping. It is, oh, I have lived in a temperate climate. Come on. It, <laughs> it's dropped down to 28 degrees. We have got that corner cleaned out and that's where the next load of firewood is going. It may be a temporary location, but I can't put it in the garage. I have taken all of your comments to heart about the green wood and all of that and all of your recommendations about how to store the firewood. I've taken all of that to heart. I'm moving all of that even though my son and I ah, worked so hard getting that all stacked. And then I'm going to take the green wood, put it outside, cover it, and wait a year until I use it. What I would really like is a salt box shed to have my green wood in, but um, those are expensive and I've got other <laughs> priorities. Oh, oh my goodness. It is, oh, it is so cold. My hands are freezing. I feel like I'm on top of a ski mountain or something. <laughs> it is very hard to adjust to a much colder climate. And that's one thing that I'm dealing with every day. Oh, I mean, I knew this was gonna happen, but it's, it's still oh, a challenge. Uh, you know, when you're filming and you're working, you can't really wear, the camera won't respond to like fuzzy, fuzzy uh, gloves. <laughs> and all those years when I would be skiing, which is my favorite thing to do, uh, haven't done it since not, I haven't done it since Christmas Eve 2017 when I got a commutator <laughs> when I got a com when I got a commutated <laughs> I think it's called when I cut when I got a commutate commutated yeah whatever fracture right here 
I was knocked down by a ski lift chair the last time I went skiing and my arm went all the way up like this and it broke right at the top. Oh, what a fun Christmas that was. <laughs> they said, oh, we can give you some, uh, uh, what is it, uh, what are those pain, really strong pain uh, that people get addicted to? I said, no, no thank you. <laughs> I'll go without that. And anyway, I digress. Uh, I have big plans for the garage and I have big plans for a new vehicle. I'm deciding between a, well, you see, I had this whole experience with a Willys wagon when I was young. And I was just thinking about the Wrangler, the Willys Wrangler has a, it's called a snazberry, but it's like uh, late bloomer red. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that that red, that cranberry. Well, this color. <laughs> this is my this is my late bloomer color, and they have a Wrangler that's like that. Of course, it's very expensive when you get it fully loaded, and it wouldn't be the ride. I mean, most let's face it, most of the time I'll be riding on the road. I'm not going to be off roading. And it's between that or a Chevy Colorado, fully loaded, uh, which is um, an orange color. You know, I look good in orange too, but, <laughs> but hey, my brother pointed out I'm in big orange country. So that would be a much smoother ride than getting the Jeep. But I was thinking it'd be really cool to kind of reflect upon the days when we had all those experiences in that Willie's wagon. Oh my goodness, we bought that. Well, I'll save that for one of my stories from the sunroom videos. I gotta get to work. This turned to like a cold drink when I was outside. It doesn't really help. Mm. The internet guys are here, Cameron and Jared, doing a very good job. I think we had a great discussion and they're going to put the router in the most central location which obviously is very close to my washer dryer because that's under the stairs so the upstairs will have a signal and then because I'm going to be uploading my videos uh, from my office which is at the far end of the house far end <laughs> such a huge house no um, I'm going to pay extra and get them to do a Cat5, there they are, a Cat5 line so that I can hardwire my computer with an ethernet cord to their port. You know, I used to do it just the opposite in my house and my apartment. I had my computer and my modem and everything right there. And then I had a Netgear to send a signal around but this really needs to happen this way. So that's what's happening. This is a little embarrassing. Joist. You can feel it'll give faster. So right there, it wasn't ever given, so I'm in a joist. You were? Yeah. In a joist, so do you do you have to make another hole then? No, you try to go at an angle. Ah. Uh -huh. To where well, I'm gonna go through that joist, but I'm not gonna go because a joist is usually about this big. Ah. Uh -huh. So instead of trying to go all the way down through it, I'm sure. gonna try to go oh. out the side of it. Okay. Are you relating anything that was here before to any of the, no? No, only because there's no phone jacks anywhere that I'm seeing and stuff no. like that. And usually people use different types of cat files and everything with their type of companies. So, oh, I see. and it's kind of like hard to go off of what they kind of did and if they cut any of different colors and so. Yeah. So the reason I said this is a little embarrassing is because you know, I'm just confessing this when you, you just get used to seeing stuff. You don't even see it anymore. 
you know. You know, I get busy, I'm uh, doing <laughs> living <laughs> and coordinating all this stuff, and I just walk by all this stuff day after day, week after week, and it's just still sitting here. When I have a place to put something away, I just do it. But all of this stuff, this gardening stuff and my canning stuff that I had all sitting on the table for that video, it's all still sitting here. And so is all the glassware that Walker unpacked at Christmas is all sitting on my library table because I don't have a place to put it. So one wire comes from your outside connector mm -hmm. box, whatever that's called. It's a fiber optic wire. I'll strip it back here when I go inside and I'll show you what it really looks like once you get okay. it down to the nitty gritty. Okay. That's the whole thing that carries all of the signal. Yep. That's crazy. And also, I mean, there's times where you'll have phone, internet, and TV with one gig and it all comes off of this. Wow. But it even strips back even more. I mean, that's, that's the thickest you'll see it. Wow. So upload speed is much better with one gig? Yeah. I mean, it is better. I just don't know my numbers. You've got a lot of different things for when you're updating your videos and I guess you have a lot of programs to where you can edit them certain ways and stuff like that, right? Right. Well, Adobe, you know, I'll have Photoshop and yeah. Premiere Pro and Lightroom all See, open at have, the same time. Yeah. So when you have stuff like that running, it does help to have that one gig. We grew up together. Oh, you did? Yes, ma'am. And you're working together? Yeah. How awesome is that? Yeah. It's uh, how did that neat. How did that work out? Well, we both went. We both went to the same. I Snapchat him one day and said, I'm leaving the city. I'm going to work for DTC. And he said, me too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm then kidding. we had to wait and see if we both got hired on. It was kind of crazy. Did, were you friends in school? Mm -hmm. Oh, and did you, were you involved in any kind of um, sports or we anything? We played uh, basketball together growing up. And then uh, that was all through middle school. And high school, I separated and went to Watertown. And he went to Lebanon. Okay. And he played basketball in high school. And then I ended up bowling and playing baseball throughout high school and then i went to college for bowling he went to college for basketball. did you say bowling mm -hmm. you went to college for bowling yeah they i think you're the first person i've ever met that they, went to uh, college for bowling i got a full ride for it you, they, they you're paid, kidding no i'm not they paid for it where um cumberland cumberland university in london oh my goodness yeah i absolutely love people and i love interviewing people and isn't it amazing you just ask one question and you find out something interesting. Everybody's got a story. I would be perfectly happy just interviewing people for the rest of my life. <laughs> so just tell me again what you got there in your hand. Uh. This is my end making kit. I'll do it with all the fiber optic stuff and then I've got all of your devices and everything that'll be all hooked up for you to have internet. It's every it's either outside the house or it's under this the house. This is all right? inside. This is everything that'll go inside. Oh that's inside. Yes, okay, cool. Tulsi, oh, okay. chai, and um, and cacao. Wow. Right, it's tool right here. Oh. And then when you push it down, it pops it and cuts it and pushes it in. I'll show you in there. I've got to make another one. Okay. I've got to make two of them for you. Have you ever seen such a messy house? <laughs> I've seen worse. Have you? Good. I guess that makes me feel better. I've moved. I understand. <laughs> I've never renovated. I've always wanted to, but... Well, technically I'm not renovating. <laughs> I'm just doing the fireplace. This is what the inside of an ethernet cord looks like. 
Okay. And I'm going to take this punch down right here, and I'm going to punch all those down onto those different colored coordinations. I see. So it starts with green, white. How many do you have? There's five. And what so do they all got, represent? Just different, just the way stuff is ran, just the way the color, just the way the... I really don't know. That's a hard <laughs> question. It's just how these different colors just represent, I guess, how the information spread from one to another back and forth. Oh, I see. Um, so you've got... You've got green, white, green, brown, white, brown, then you've got blue, white, blue, and then orange, white, orange. Now we've got light blue. So Brad and his dad and his son, who just delivered the firewood, are gracious enough to haul off those old metal shelving units because they're going right by the dump. <laughs> Yay! Thank you! Okay, here is the mantelpiece. This is the back, actually. And that is the bottom. We've got the marks, and it's going to be drilled with two holes to insert into the fireplace. We can't go any farther until we get the mantle up there. Now I'm going to wrap it up so he can take it. He was saying, You still here? That's what he say to me the first thing. You still here? Tell him this is the, okay. this is the job you don't want to leave. Yeah, it's just one of the jobs. I'm sorry. Oh, um, I hope I don't forget to cut this up for kindling. <laughs> I hope you do too. It's cold tonight. No. I don't need a fire. <laughs> don't burn that. We've already burned all of our chairs. So oh, yeah. uh oh. Next. Oh no. <laughs> All right, you have a nice night. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't drop it on that little uh, place, you know that. Well, I think I've got it wrapped good enough. Now I'm going to put it on the inside of my truck. Okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you're starting over like me and you're trying to learn to become a homesteader, or if you just find this whole experience interesting, I hope you will subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. The sun is trying to come out and warm us up here, but you can see Frost on my breath. Not frost, what is it? <laughs>